boys and girls, it's the Europa League adventures again. We are in Portugal and I'm absolutely buzzing for this game. But as usual, I don't do things easily. I'm about two hours away from Lisbon, so I've got to drive there. <sighs> Can't beat the Europa League adventures, can ya? Come and join me and let's find out what happens today. miles into my journey um, probably about another 80 or so to go and I'm um, just stopped off gonna fill up put a bit of diesel in and get myself a little munch um, can't wait to get to Lisbon kickoffs fast approaching and uh, I'm buzzing for this one at the stadium parked up and everything and um yeah i've just met up with robbie and a few of the others and um yeah very impressive stadium um first glance and everything else really nice um, but really weird because there's like shopping center and everything all involved in the middle and yeah probably about what two and a half hours till kickoff gonna get something to eat and then um hopefully go and watch arsenal win 11 games in a row we will wait and see though inside the stadium team's been announced and the only real surprise in there is Granit Xhaka at left back now I know he played there the other day for the last 20 but obviously he played so well that Emery's decided to start in there needs must uh, very strong lineup of Amiens up front I think with my team selection in my preview it's pretty spot on apart from Xhaka so uh, yeah strong lineup I'm looking forward to this game I'm looking forward to seeing what the atmosphere is like here I've heard a lot about it and hopefully we can make it 11 wins in a row. Come on, Arsenal, try not to let me down. Back 
claiming that was a professional foul from Socrates. You can hear what they think and what we think. It's quite funny. Go on, Uba. Ah. Yeah, they're not happy at all. half time it's nil nil and um, you know what it's been quite a um, frustrating half no real fluidity no real tempo to our play they've had one real chance and that was Nani from distance we've kind of probed and probed but yeah like I said no real intensity no real cutting edge and um, stalemates at the moment um, I think if it stays like this Emery will change things around He's been doing it all season, hasn't he? So uh, maybe some of the big players in uh, the first team, a lot that play regular, will have to come on the likes of Ozil, Lacazette, um, Awobi, etc. But we will wait and see. So um, yeah, so far, half time, nil nil. We'll wait and see what Emery does and whether we can uh, get the victory in the second half. We'll wait and see. Danny Welbeck pops up near the end with the goal. That's 11 wins in a row. Do you know what? That was a dominant performance, um, especially second half. We controlled the game. We should have won by more, but it just wasn't to be. We was lacking a little clinical cutting edge, but we got the one goal that counted and we win and we are in total control of the group. Three wins out of three, 11 wins on the bounce and it's Crystal Palace at the weekend. I've got a 200 mile drive now and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my holiday. Um, if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will see you lot tomorrow for the player ratings, then the preview for the Crystal Palace game, match day vlog and the player ratings. It's a really good night and uh, it's been a really good trip to Portugal. And like I said, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my holiday. I will see you lot soon. They didn't let me down. I'm out of here.